Hi, I'm Andy Shipsize from Mabel Cinetech in New York, and today we're looking again at the uh, XDCAM PDW700 camera uh, and going over specifically naming conventions and the thumbnail view of the camera. Now, the, the camera uh, has a lot of uh, settings that to, to adjust to allow you to change how the files are named as they go onto the disk. And I just want to show you how to, how to change those, va those values and then and how to edit them uh, in the thumbnail view and delete your clips, rename your clips, and so on. So uh, this is a, a, a very useful feature of the camera, and we'll just jump right into it. Um, so first, how to get into the menus. And I just want to show you how to get to the lower menu, because that's where you're going to start getting into these naming conventions. So on, on the front of the camera, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll get into it, uh, there's a little release here. And my menu switch is right here below it. So move my finger. There you go. There's my menu switch. Uh, and in the front of the camera, I have this little scroll wheel. Now to get into the lower menus, uh, I have to hold the scroll wheel in with my thumb there, and then push down on that. So, and if all goes well, it'll pop up on my screen. Yes, there it is on my screen. You can see it at home. Uh, and then I go through the menus, and I can look uh, down there. And I, the first one I see below the users is operations. So I want to go into operation, push into my scroll wheel, and I have all these other uh, uh, options. And I want to go all the way down to number twenty-eight. Uh, 28 and 27 are the ones we want to kind of consider, but we're going to start with 28 file naming, right? So file naming, in we go. And then you see this thing says naming form. See star, 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 right? Which means that what it's going to do right now in the default is every clip is going to be named C00001, 00002, incrementing up as it goes. So per disk, the first clip will be one and then so on with the, with the C starting it out. Now this is the default. This is what they call like the non-free or the 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 the, uh, the the set naming convention. I can change that by going down in my menu uh, to what they call a free naming convention. So you see there it says free, uh, and then below it says auto naming. Now uh, in this format, it's allowing me to change my naming convention, but by default again, it says that you know what? I don't care if you want to keep it free. I'm still going to call it C star 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 star. So in order to change that again, I go here, switch over to title or plan. Now, we'll talk about title first. Title is, a, is, a, is, a, is another setting where I can, it's actually a title I can type in in, in, in uh, the, the menu before this. And then uh, otherwise, I can, go, I can use something called plan. And plan is something we'll talk about in a minute. That's what they call a planning naming convention or using a planning metadata file. And we'll talk about how to load a planning metadata file. But first, let's look at title. Uh, title is a preset uh, name that it will use, uh, and we, we set that, that that name in the previous menu. So I'm going to go up the top here and go to uh, menu 27 called Clip Title. Okay, right now it's disabled, so I'll go down and I'll enable it. Now I'll take, to move around here, I'm just using the scroll wheel, I'm just pushing in the scroll to set a value, scrolling down and up just to move around. Very easy to, to, to navigate. So you see here in the Clip Title menu, I have something. Uh, called title, and I enabled it. And below, I have a select prefix, clear, clear, clear numeric, load prefix data. Okay, so what I can do here is now set my prefix to uh, from title to something else. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it as title, but I could go through and change what that is. And then when I'm done, I go to end. There you go. And then I can set a number. Now, right now, it's set to five. This is the numeric that it's going to start with, as in the first clip will be five or one or four, and then it'll increment up forward. So I left it as title, but I can call, you can call it whatever you like, um, you know, any, any naming convention you prefer. And then on the disk, from then on, your clips will be named title 0001, 0002, 0003. So you can decide based on your project, you want to call it the project name, and then increment from, from zero and forward. Now, this is a great and easy way to, increment, to name files, and it goes pretty fast. But then again, you have to, you'd have to, you have to keep in mind that per disk, you, you should either reset this number back to zero again, or, or, or just keep in mind that it's going to, as this fills up, the next number will come up as well. In addition to all this, I can do something called plan metadata. Now, I mentioned this a minute ago. I want to go back into menu item 28 to see that. 28, here we go. Uh, and I go into something called Plan now, plan. What it, what it is essentially is a uh, uh, a, a file. Uh, it's it's looking for a file on your on your camera that that tells it what to name things. Um, and you can make this file uh, uh, on on the PC and then 
add it and then load it into the camera through the disk. Now, on our website, we're going to make a small little application that actually lets you create this planning metadata file, the XML file, uh, and I'll, it'll be on our website. I'll just look for it on this page here, and you can see it, and you can, once this file is created, you can take the file, put it onto the disk, and then load it up. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to go into the thumbnail view and show you how to do that. But first, let's back up a little bit and just talk about thumbnail access. Um, so when I leave the menu, first and foremost, by turning this little switch off, there we go, um, and I have the thumbnail view. To get into the thumbnail view, I hit this little button over here. You see that? Uh, there we go. Thumb it says thumbnail there, thumbnail. When I hit that button, do a little bit of processing. Processing is complete. And in we go, thumbnail view is displayed. You can see I have about four, four clips here. And I can move around this menu using these little arrows here. So this little, each of these little arrows moves me around the menu, left, right, so on. Now, I can, right here, just, just to just play back some material, I can select a clip, and I can hit the center button there, which is the select button, and it'll play back that clip. This is just bars. Now I can also control it We're using the top of the camera, the, the play, rewind, fast forward buttons here, very easy to get to. Uh, if I hit stop, the camera's going to go back out of the thumbnail view. To get back in the thumbnail view again, I have to hit the thumbnail button once more, and it'll jump back in there. Um, now I'll let it play through, it'll just jump back to the, to the thumbnail view by itself. 